J.D. Merritt, center back. I think it more or less was the end game. Uh, you know, when you when you think about what you want out of out of trying to be a pro, um, I thought, well, either way, I'd have to do it the hard way. So, where is the end game? The end game is being a professional. And where would I rather be a professional at that time in my life? It's got to be Europe. You know, I, that that's where we all wanted wanted to play, and, and that was a, a huge goal of mine. And uh, once I got on European soil, I saw what European soccer was like, and uh, definitely wanted to be a part of it. A lot of people don't know the types of towns I was playing in. <laughs> you know, these, these are towns that, uh, you know, have, have three guys and a cow, you know. But, uh, again, that was all part of the journey. For me, that was all part of uh, what I, I, I knew I would most likely have to go through uh, in order to get to a team like Watford. And, uh, uh, you know, that, that kind of grind, uh, I learned a lot about, you know, the culture. And I learned a lot about myself and what it takes to, to get there. And, uh, you know, those are all those are all values that I definitely wouldn't uh, uh, and still don't take for granted. I think in a, in a lot of different scales, just the European type fans, it's more of their culture. So they they are brought up through this from since they were four years old. You know, they have their chance that everyone knows. They have the the passionate. This is what I do on game day. You know, you can see that in a lot of the other sports here. And I think American soccer is just starting to to get that. Um, you know, and, and, and soccer in North America is is really starting. You know, they're new. They're they're a newer sport uh, uh, to what we are, and it's in trying to develop their own identity. And, and you can see that now. You know. Uh, playing at for games for the U.S. team or, or, or seeing MLS games, you can see that fans are really starting to take hold of what it's about to be a fan and, what, and that passion that they need to bring to, a, to the game. Ashley Young within a great corner. Uh, we had worked on that all week. Normally I'd take the near post run, but for, that, for some reason that day, I just faked the near post run and came around the back. And it's, it's crazy though, because when you see that ball coming in, and it's just, you can even see on the clip, you're around 10 other guys, but I, I'm, there's only one thing I'm concentrating on there, and that's the ball. And you just try to meet it as hard as you can, and thankfully, uh, you know, it went the right way, and that was uh, the back of the net. So uh, there we were. It's, it's fantastic, you know. For me, that's the pinnacle of your, of your profession, uh, to put on your country's colors and to represent your country, uh, to be, you know, one of 11. Uh, that represents you know your whole nation is it, when you think about it is a really really special thing and uh, to finally get the chance after you know a couple years in England and, and trying to prove to the USA managers that I could uh, you know prove it on an international level uh, was it was a fantastic achievement but then once you get there just like any other goal you get into that situation and you want to try to continue to improve that situation and I spent about a year and a half two years you know, being in squads, sitting on the bench, coming on games and, as sub and things like that. But then you just continue to work and you continue to get better and you continue to wait for your opportunity. And thankfully over the past couple of years, uh, I've had that opportunity to get involved and be in that starting 11 and and, uh, and, and, and have done my best to stay there. Well, I, I think we came in with the same attitude that we showed um, in all the games and that was one of resolve. Uh, that was one of a, a, a good a good foundation of a group, uh, guys that all worked really hard for each other, guys that were all on the same page, that were well organized, well prepared. Um, and then again, when the going got tough, uh, you know, we all came together and, and really performed well when it mattered. And uh, uh, whether it was going a goal down and coming back, or uh, you know, finding that goal right at the end of the Algeria game, all those types of things, you know, showed the resolve that we showed as a unit. And uh, um, that was, I think, our, our, our most uh, uh, you know, impressive attribute. There was a little bit of nerve uh, in, the, in the England game, but ultimately it's, it, was, it was excitement because a lot had been said about that game. That was the spotlight game. That was the game that was going to show the world where we stood against one of the best teams in the world. And uh, uh, after the game, I think we used that as a confidence builder because we proved uh, to the world that we could hang uh, with a type of team like England and, and be a part of that. Um, arguably, you could talk about their goal as, as it wasn't a good goal or, 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 any, or anything like that, but anyone that watched the game showed that it was a fair result, in, in, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, if we wouldn't have scored there, we could have scored the other two or three chances we created um, because they didn't create too many chances either. So overall, I thought the 1-1 draw was was a fair result. And, uh, um, you know, we definitely use that as a springboard and confidence builder going into the final uh, games of that round. 
Uh, I didn't want this move uh, after the World Cup to be about one thing. Um, you know, you, you play for uh, seven years and, and you learn a lot. You learn a lot about what you want out of your career. You learn a lot about uh, what you want as a role. Uh, and, and you also learn about opportunities and experiences and things like that that you get in your career. And um, I've experienced and, and been fortunate enough to have a lot of great things happen over the past six seasons, um, both internationally and club-wise with Watford. Um, but you know, Vancouver presented a, a fantastic opportunity for me to use what I've learned over there and, and really play a, a bigger role. You know, opportunities that were in Europe after the World Cup never gave me the satisfaction that I think we that we can achieve here at this club. Um, not only in the way that they presented the opportunity to me to make sure that you know I was I was uh, being shown uh, the right uh, or sorry said the right words to me to make me be interested. Um, and then again, you, you come to the city and you see the buzz and you see the fans and you see the atmospheres that you can, that we can, can potentially create. Um, and then for me to, to take a leading role in that, it uh, means a lot. You know, a lot of people talk about uh, you know what it means to be a professional and, and and money and all these accolades and all these other things. But for me, it's about the challenge. It's about um, it's about you know being a leader, being a role, uh, a role player in. In, in a much bigger situation than yourself and that's definitely what's here in Vancouver and uh, you know I think we're all excited to just get going.